So I coded in the digital speed. Right there, you can see it. I don't really, I mean, it, I don't care about using this, but um, it's just easier to look at that. Plus it's kind of cool to do. So um, I use the program NCS Coding, I think it's what it's called, or NCS Expert. So I don't know, I have to refer back to it. Anyways, I just connected my KDKIN cable to my OBD port and then into my laptop. And then I actually recorded it um, just to show you guys what I did. Um, I did it while the car was on. Some people like to have the car off, um, but I did it while it was running. And then I just turned it off and turned it back on while um, the coding had been done. So um, you're gonna pull up your software and we're gonna be selecting NCS Expert. We're gonna be running that. And we're gonna hit File and then Load Profile. And then we're gonna hit ref there's NCS expert profile. That's what we wanna do, select okay. And then you're gonna hit F1, followed by F3. And then we're just gonna scroll down until we find E89, that's for the E90, and the E91, E92, and E93. Select okay, we're gonna be doing the CAS. Make sure you select the CAS, okay. Then from there, we're just gonna hit the back button. Um, back, yep. And then process ECU. From there, I selected combi, cause we're gonna me be messing with the cluster. So, and then hit okay. Okay, one more time. Now, we're gonna um, read the ECU. You can go into change job, but you know, it's sometimes easier to uh, just hit read ECU, so read ECU, wait for the pop-up window to uh, pop up, there you go. Then you can just close this out actually, but um, I'll just minimize it for now. All right, and then we're gonna go into our directory, we're gonna go into our C drive, so make sure you find your C drive, and then you're gonna look for NCSX per without the T, open that up, and then open up work. Now, look at the time, it's 727. Now look for the file that's most closest to that, 727 right there. The trace file is the one you wanna open up, the FSW, PSW. Now, we're gonna be looking for the word digital. So once we open that up, control F, and then type in digital. As you can see, I've already done it, but I'll do it again, just type in digital. And then hit enter. And there it is, that BC digital V is the one that we want. Right there, digital V. And then we're just gonna, that niche underscore part, we're gonna delete that. We want it to say active, only active. That's gonna enable it. So from there, we're gonna go to file and then save as. And then you wanna, Delete the trace and save it as a .man file, M-A-N, and then just hit save. Now, a pop-up window is going to say, do you want to replace and just hit, um, yep, just hit yes. So you select the yes. Close this window. Minimize that one. Now we're going to go to basic functions. And then we're going to look for coapi read sg get fsw psw so as you can see it's this one right here that's going to pull the man file that we just saved um, with the new code and then just hit okay and then okay one more time just wait there we go perfect ended okay now we're going to change the job And then we're going to select SG Coderin. That's telling it to write the code into the car. And then you hit execute job and, uh, and then you're good. This is the part where you're going to turn your car off and then turn it back on. Now I think it's time to hit you with a random B-roll.
pretty cool. I like using it. Um, I don't know if it's accurate. I mean, it matches this, but then this, I've noticed that it's not really accurate to like when using a GPS or something. So it just matches that and no biggie. It's, uh, it's off by a couple miles, but it's all good.